Hey everybody, so I want to show you how I do these filterable geo charts. People ask me about these a lot, so I want to show you how to do it. The first thing you're going to need is a table with a state and a metric. So state with a state name, a metric next to it. Uh, you can have as many columns as you want, and you can have state names multiple times, it's no big deal, but you just have to make sure there's at least a column with a state and at least a column with a metric. We're going to use this table to generate a pivot table. So if you don't know how to use pivot tables, there's a million tutorials out there you can go learn from. I'm not going to go too deep other than to say go to insert, pivot table, drop it in, and then um, we are going to look at our field list here, and I want to show you how you set this up. You're going to put your state name in the rows, and you're going to put the sales metric in the values. In this case, sum is the aggregate I'm using for it. So sales uh, in the values, state in the rows, once you've got that, what's going to happen is you're going to essentially have a pivot table with a list of states and a list of sales values, right? But here's the problem. When you select this and you try to make a map chart out of it, it's going to throw an error. And that's because you can't use a pivot table with geo charts for some reason. It's just a limitation in Excel. What you're going to have to do is essentially duplicate this pivot table right next to it, but in a non-pivot table format. So in here, what we've got is a little equation, and it's essentially saying if there's a value here in the pivot table, uh, put it in. If there's not, put a blank. And this is a formatting thing so that the geo chart doesn't break as we adjust it. Uh, so drop it in, and then click drag down 50 cells, because there's 50 states, right? So we are only going to need 50 cells that reference here. And then we're going to do the same thing in sales. There's the uh, formula for doing it in sales. Drag it back down. And now we've got essentially a new table. Then we're going to highlight this thing, click maps, filled map, and it's going to make a chart for us. Now here's the thing. If you make this chart and each state is a different color, it has generated the wrong type of chart for you and it's not going to work for what we're doing. If that happens, go to the insert tab and go instead of maps, go to recommended charts and it, you should see the option right here. Anyway, here's our chart. Great. Love it. So we're going to cut this thing and drop it in where we want to put it. Control X, Control V here, just copy pasting. Okay, awesome. Get it roughly the size we want first, just kind of get it in place. And then let's start styling this thing to make it look better. So we, uh, I'm going to delete the title here. But the most important thing, uh, just critical when we're designing the way that we design here in Excel, is making sure that there's no, uh, that there's no fill and no line. This just means that the chart floats on the background. It doesn't have that outline color. Uh, this just makes it much easier when we're figuring out our composition. Next, we're going to make sure that the fonts are right. So we select the chart, the whole chart, go to font, select white, boom, now our font is white and we have enough contrast to actually read it. Next, we're going to start styling the chart itself. So we click into the chart. Our fill color is going to represent the color that the whole background is when there's not data in it. So we're going to go solid fill. I did a dark green because I like green in this case. And then the line is going to be the line around the states. So we're going to go to solid line, and I did a yellow in this case. Um, OK, great. Looks good. Next, we have to make this series look right. So if you go over here on the right to series options, you're going to see your minimum and maximum values. This is the gradient between the highest and lowest values in each of the states in your geo chart. For the lowest, we want something dark. And for the highest, we want something bright. And that's so that there's more contrast. So you can really see, hey, where's the lowest and where's the highest really clearly? That's the whole point of gradients here, right? That's why we're using them. Awesome. Now things look good. We've got our chart in place. But something's missing. We can't filter this yet. So we're going to go back over to our pivot tables, click into our pivot chart, hit insert, and go over to slicer. Now slicer, you can filter by any of the columns in your original table. In this case, I'm going to do region because I have all of my states labeled by region. But you can do whatever you want here. You could even do states for this. All right, drop this in. OK, and just you know, control x. We're going to cut it and paste it over again and kind of get it in the place we want it first. I kind of know I want it like up here. And then we're going to go to the uh, slicer tab to style it. So I know I want a different number of columns. So watch what happens. I get columns. Now I have all four of my regions here uh, side by side. And now I have to style it. Now the quick styles option in Excel for slicers is not great. And the interface for customizing these is really difficult to use. I have a whole set of styles that is in a big template I send out in my newsletter. So if you want to join the newsletter, it's free. 
you'll eventually get a copy of that in the in the email series for the newsletter and it will give you a series of slicers so you don't have to do all the styling yourself all right so we've dropped that in and bada bing bada boom we can start clicking into regions and everything updates accordingly thanks for tuning in and uh mo here who is a little sleepy he says bye bye everybody and we will be back later this week with more oh and let me know if you have ideas for other content ping me let me know what you want to see more of if you have questions all right see you everyone